Welcome back to Oriole Park at Camden Yards and this has been a season of historic moments with the home run chase and we may witness another one tonight Cal Ripken on the phone presumably to the press box and he is not in the lineup. This is just moments ago Ray Miller exchanging lineup cards with Joe Torrey and explaining that Cal Ripken supposedly went in to see Ray Miller and said I'm not injured. Please don't put me in the lineup tonight. And so young Ryan Miner will start at third base. And we apparently will see the end of the Ripken streak. Kenny, he's come out of games before during the middle, but never missed starting a game. Yeah, 2,632 consecutive starts. Tonight would have been the 6,200, uh, make that 2,633rd consecutive start. So he is out of there at least for the moment. He can still get in the ball game and keep his consecutive game streak going. But as for the moment, uh, Cal Ripken is not in this ball game. And that would lead you to believe that Cal, and maybe having a sense for what's been going on in baseball, has said, "I don't want this to disrupt what's been going on with Sosa and McGuire. This is the last home game of the season for Baltimore. So let me do it very quietly and spontaneously tonight and get it over with." Knobloch takes the first pitch from Doug Johns for ball one. Now it is official as the lineup cards have been exchanged and Cal Ripken is not in the lineup. You see him getting uh, congratulations actually from all of his teammates. <laughs> That's ball two. It was interesting to see his reaction on the bench. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Somebody's got to teach him how to play bench. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> nervous energy goes all the way back to May of 1982 and as a group the Yankees left the dugout and gave Cal Ripken an ovation of their own out of respect which was a very classy maneuver and now the fans rise as one <laughs> sensing what's happened This may last a while. Yeah. It should. Hopefully not as long as the street did, though. <laughs> well, he we mentioned it 24% longer than Lou Gehrig's streak. To show you how that would affect other records in baseball, Joe DiMaggio had a 56 game hitting streak. <laughs> Somebody would have to hit in 69 consecutive games to make it 24% longer than the 56 games.